Hi everybody, uh, this time I'm doing some uh, base molding in a house in Laguna Beach and uh, I want to show you what is the very best way to going about making the, uh, the miters, the interior miters, okay? So first off, I, I want to show you, uh, I have, let me get the camera, I want to show you how I have this small room over here I have one little section that is 5 eighths 48 and an eighth 46 and 5 eighths so on and so forth so all the corners are interior miters okay now the problem that we all encounter is uh, that when we have interior miters let's see cutting the interior miters is really easy and we end up having a perfect 90, 90 degrees uh, interior miters, 45 and 45. And this only works when we have a perfect 90 degree wall. But if the wall does something like this, it leans back, then we have a problem. Okay. If this wall leans back a little bit, we have a problem. If it leans forward, we have a problem. So in reality, real life is all the time um, doing this, doing this, okay? Real life is never 90 degrees wall perfect. So in order to demonstrate this and to show you how to go about doing the interior miters, I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna be copying one piece to another one. Well, let me just, let me show you first uh, how it looks on real life. Okay, here we have a little room, interior miter, interior miter, and then wraps around, and then another interior miter. Now, what really happens on real life is, let me show you, is that see when when we do the 45 interior 45 interior and then we come over here we do this right and it looks nice but in reality I'm ended, ending up with a big gap at the top and I want to push this as far as I can go with a panel adhesive or liquid nail something like that and then I'm going to push this one and see see how it ends up with the gap over here and some people will say well just just cock it uh, well it's easier to cop it and I'll, I'm gonna show you how to do that okay that's one sample one real life sample that I am doing uh, right now then we have another sample over here see I have this corner I put this piece over here and see how much how far away from the wall they have to bring this piece in order to close the miter. If I push this piece back, take a look. See how how big of a gap I ended up with. So that's another example why the interior miters is much easier to do it with uh, copying instead of miting it uh, 45 and 45. Now, let me show you the last sample, it's over here, I don't know if you can see it, right here, see it right there, how, it's, it's, it's really hard to get a piece in there with a 45 and then another piece with a 45 coming this way, so I'm going to show you how to do that one also, in the meantime, um, I just want to say that we're going to be cutting this one 5 eighths straight, straight cuts. Okay? We're going to be doing the back straight cut from here all the way to here, straight cuts. Two straight cuts over there. Then we're going to be cutting this one straight cut, straight cut to butt into the casing. Okay, so that's how we begin. Straight cuts, 
straight cuts in the back straight cut over there then we take the two ends the two caps I will call them caps this one and this one okay we take both of them we measure from wall to wall and then we cut interior miters well didn't I say I wasn't gonna do interior miters yes I did but the interior miter is just to follow the shape of the profile okay so that's when the next step begins and let me go outside and I'm gonna show you on the bench how to go about doing that okay so now on to the next step I have two sample pieces over here actually yes these are two sample pieces what we're gonna do is when we have the miter the interior miter we're gonna get rid of all this wood over here okay all this wood we're gonna we're gonna go get rid of it we're just gonna follow the edge of the base molding now there is many ways to do that the uh, the first one is using a coping coping saw and let me use a clamp over here I'm gonna clamp this thing over here okay and I can I can try to follow the shape of this okay but that's that's pretty much the, the goal to leave it like that okay I'm gonna save time on not doing all this stuff I'm gonna show you the second step change pieces this is the step that this is the step that I really like whenever I'm doing MDF baseboards I use the belt sander okay and my setup is basically a putty cable put a cable belt sander 80 or 60 grit uh, sandpaper okay 80 or 60 grit uh, sandpaper remote control see because it's really easy to turn it on and off and so I follow the shape of the molding with the belt sander Okay, this one is ready. So as you can see, doing it with the belt sander whenever it's MDF, because the MDF is soft, uh, is easier than using the cupping saw. Now, when you have solid wood, uh, you're gonna have to use some sort of saw, jigsaw or something like that, just to get rid of the majority of the wood, and then probably use the belt sander to finish off uh, the job. Let me do the uh, rest of the pieces and after getting everything ready I'm going to show you how it looks inside. It's going to look really tight and it won't matter uh, what the wall is doing. Okay, so we are ready to install the last two pieces, right hand side with coping and left, left hand side also with coping. So let me, let me get in there. Let me show you how I have this piece is ready. You can see it right there. It's ready coping instead of doing an interior miter. Okay, so it's basically miter versus coping. Let me show you how it goes in. Okay, so what I do is I put this first piece I go over there okay 
go in there and then over here I bent the piece a little bit to go inside and then push hard shoot a couple of nails So the first one is ready, and see that's that's pretty pretty good. Just a little bit of caulking in the corner, but before was about quarter inch open. And see that tight corner. Really good. So I hope uh, that you like these videos. I hope you learn uh, a little bit, and if uh, you can leave a comment or subscribe please uh, consider doing so and let me know if uh, if you like to see something something else we'll try to make a video uh, this is the last piece that I'm gonna be installing let me show you again it's really tight space over here so again I go like this first corner bend the piece from the middle a little bit to go inside there a little bit tight is good because that give us see without without even putting nails on it we can have that miter over there and that miter over there Okay, so hope you like it. See you next time. There's, hold on, let me let me wait for the truck to pass by.